Wake Up Alabama's Rick Jackson continues our live team coverage of that fire in Gate City. Rick, you and photojournalist Will Rains work the overnight shift. You were called in early this morning to that scene. Take us through the first moments when you arrived there. Well, Sherry, it was a host of things. First off, you had the victims coming to you, many of them bloody, bruised, with their children out, uh, grabbing anything they can to sort of keep warmth. A lot of them had blankets on. And then, as you saw uh, earlier, a lot of them concerned, upset, because they said this could have been avoided. Uh, and then, I mean, the saddest part about it all was actually having that interview with the victim's sister. And at that point, she was relieved saying that her sister had survived and we had to come back and say that she had. So it was just a lot going on. There were several families out there, Sherry, because that perimeter was blocked off. Um, they were concerned about their family members. They couldn't get in. And so we were trying to get that information to them uh, as quickly as possible. And just seeing all that was very, very, very hard on the A lot of people woke to, to find just, you know, just the shock of what happened. For you being out there, you know, you, you want to cover the story, you want to get that video, but also just uh, you want to jump in and, and you want to help people as well. Were there any moments where you had an opportunity to do anything? Absolutely. Uh, it was a one woman with her children and she was showing me her hands and they were cut and bloody and she was just saying help me. Um, and that was that moment where I had to just stop and uh, sort of escort her and her child to uh, an officer who was escorting everyone to the rec center. And it was just, you know, it was one of those things you have to have that sensitive side. Being a parent for one, you had the children out there and yeah. then a lot of parents didn't even know where their kids were. And so I wanted as a journalist, we want to tell the story, we want to get it correctly. And at that point in time, it was a sensitive side. I wanted to help the people on the scene at the same time get that coverage to the people as quickly as possible, trying to get to their family members. And certainly, Rick, it means a lot to the people because people have relatives who live in that area. And so being able to get that information, get it first, get it quick, and also get it accurately was, was, was good information. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rick.